Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. For this video, we're going to take care of how to calculate the standard deviation using this wonderful device over here, the Casio FX 115 ES Plus. Now, there's really only two steps to really calculating the standard deviation using this calculator, and that's getting all the data into the calculator and then finding the right buttons to actually have it do the calculation. So let's move on to that step and get this process going. So here I have 10 different data points and we want the calculator to uh, calculate the standard deviation. Now remember, there's two different types of standard deviation. It could be the standard deviation of a sample, or it could be the standard deviation of a population. Now fortunately, this calculator will do either one, but make sure you know whether your data is from a sample or a population uh, before you get too far. All right, so let's get on to entering in that data. So the first thing we need to do is change the mode of this calculator. If you look near the top of your calculator and you've been using it for quite some time, uh, it will probably say math, and that's where you usually do most of your calculations. But we need it in statistics mode. So go ahead and press the uh, mode setup right here, and you can press number three, that will give us the stat option. All right, so that switches it to the statistics options. We have lots of different things in here for different distributions. We just want to do a one variable statistic, so I'll select number one. All right, here's where we can now enter in all of that data. I have 10 data points, so we'll just type them in one at a time. Every time I'm done typing in, press enter and it'll go to the next line. And we'll just keep going bit by bit. So let's see, 95, 93, 84, 81, 70, 66, and 65. Okay, so there's all of our data. It's in the calculator, it's safe. Now we need to uh, figure out how it can calculate that standard deviation. First, we need to exit out of here. So press the AC button, that's the all clear button. Don't worry, your data is safe. Uh, we just need to get to a different screen. All right, now, how do we have it calculate the standard deviation? You're gonna press shift and then down here for number one where it says stat slash distribution. So shift number one. And now we have lots of different things it can do with this data. Since standard deviation is a measure of a, a type of variation in the data, we'll select number four. Four. And now we have lots of options. Uh, number three would be for the population standard deviation. We can see that because it has a little sigma in there. And four would be for the sample standard deviation. We can see it has an S. So let's go ahead and do one of each of these. Let's just move this over. We'll do the sample as if this uh, data came from a sample. So I just pressed number four. I now have SX on the screen, press equals. So this will give us that if this was from a sample, our standard deviation would be 26.08 and some change. All right, let's repeat this uh, process so you can see it one more time and pretend that our data is from a population. So let's clear this out. Our data is still in there, it's still safe, don't worry. We'll press second or shift stat this is a measure of variance, so number four. We're treating it as a population, so let's select that number three with the sigma, enter. And since it's a slightly different formula, sure enough, we'll get a slightly different answer. Now I got 24.74, and that's, of course, treating it as if the numbers were from a population. All right, hopefully those steps helped out. Uh, if you'd like to see some more videos, definitely visit mysecretmathtutor.com.